brothers and sisters and back at it again today um the holy spirit has just been really working hard at me today um i keep getting revelation um every time i read a gospel um, i get a new revelation even if i'm rereading the gospel um i think i've read matthew this is like my i don't know maybe third or fourth time rereading it again and I'm just thinking about some of the sermons that preachers in the past at these churches that are given a, 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 half, a half gospel, watered down gospel. These preachers that have no backbone, they, they, they like twist the word to, to, to satisfy you, to satisfy you. Um, whether it's to motivate you um, or um, pretty much to motivate you. Um, but... I was reading about the death of John the Baptist in Matthew 14 today, and I got hit so hard with the Holy Spirit, like like discernment. I got discernment from the Holy Spirit. And I'm just going to go ahead and read the verse first. I'm going to read uh, about the death of John the Baptist in Matthew 14, and I am in uh, the New Living Translation. Um, so, and then I'll go on and speak on it. When Herod, Antipas, or when, um, Herod Antipas, the ruler of Galilee, heard about Jesus, he said to his advisors, This must be John the Baptist raised from the dead. That is why he can do such miracles. For Herod had arrested and imprisoned John as a favor to his wife, Herodias, the former wife of Herod's brother, Philip. John had been telling Herod, It is against God's law for you to marry her. Herod wanted to kill John, but he was afraid of a riot because all the people believed John was a prophet. But at a birthday party for Herod, Herodias' daughter performed a dance that greatly pleased him. So he promised with a vow to give her anything she wanted. And at her mother's urging, the girl said, I want the head of John the Baptist on a tray. Then the king regretted what he had said, but because of the vow, he had made in front of his guests. He issued the necessary orders. So John was beheaded in prison and his head was brought on a tray and given to the girl who took it to her mother. Later, John's disciples came for his body and buried it. Then they went and told Jesus what had happened. So that's pretty sad. And um, this is, I'm gonna give you a watered down gospel that is preached at many churches about that, about that specific passage, and I'm gonna give you the truth, okay? So the watered down gospel part is, a lot of preachers will say, they'll look at Herod, they'll put, they'll, they'll put Herod in the light instead of uh, John the Baptist and what he did, right? So they'll say, they'll say something like this. Um, so for example, I'm not gonna say any names, I'm not gonna put any churches on blast, but this is a church I went to. And, and, and when I was reading this, this specific preacher came that I used to go to his church. This specific, th this specific thought came across my mind. Okay, this is discernment from the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit told me what he said was half truth. He wasn't speaking the whole truth, this preacher. Okay, this preacher at this church I went to. He said he was talking about Herod and that he was eating the soup of bitterness, of bitterness and anger. And that he got so angry that, that every day he was just thinking about John the Baptist, thinking about John the Baptist. And then it made him so angry. And, 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 and not just um, Herod, but uh, Herodias, his wife, sorry, Herodias, his wife too, was eating the bowl of bitterness, was eating the bowl of anger, thinking about what John said, and it was eating it at her and eating at her, wanting her to kill John the Baptist. But let's, let's be honest, all right? This, and, and, then, and then so the, the, uh, the discernment of the Holy Spirit came upon me, and it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. So the discernment put that picture in my mind of, of what that preacher had said before, but that was not the, the, the message of, of that of that passage in the Bible of John the Baptist getting beheaded. The message was, is that you're going to get persecuted. You're going to get killed when you're preaching the truth because, because the light needs to be on John the Baptist in that specific passage because John was being obedient to God. He was being, he was, he was acting in obedience. He was telling the truth and he went to Herod and he told him the truth that he is going, he is acting out and he's going against God's law. 
And, um, and yes, Herodias may have been eating a bowl of bitterness, but we're not going to put the light on them. We're not going to, so, and that's exactly what that preacher that I was going to at, an, at, a, at a lukewarm tr church was saying. He wasn't speaking the truth. He wasn't speaking the truth about that's what's going to happen if you, if you, if you become a, a, a disciple of Jesus Christ. That's what's going to happen. You're going to be uh, possibly murdered one day for speaking the truth. That you're going to be hated. That you're going to be, um, you know, the world is going to be against you. You're going to be persecuted. That's the truth. And that's what happened to John the Baptist because he was a follower of Jesus. So these other churches are doing a, a, gummy, bear, a gummy bear version of the gospel and just and trying to twist it a little bit and put the light on another character. But really, we know the truth of that message is, is that you will be persecuted as a follower. Because what? Because John, spoke, because John the Baptist spoke the truth. Okay, that, that, that passage telling people that Herodias was bitter and was eating the bowl of soup of bitterness. And then, and then at the end of the message, this preacher is telling us, don't eat the, don't eat the soup of bitter, bitterness. Okay, that's important. That's important, but that's not what God needs us to know about that passage, okay? The Holy Spirit needs us to know that if you're going to preach the gospel, you're going to preach the truth, which you, you should be doing as a Christian, you're going to get persecuted. You're going to be hated. And one day we are going to be killed and murdered for preaching the truth. That is what I need to tell you today, brothers and sisters. I pray that you are blessed. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.